Hello everyone, I'm Polly and today I'm finally working on the rural side of the island. I'm so excited to work on this side now because honestly the idea for this island started on the rural side and uh, I wanted to do like the entire island being rural but then I also got inspired by some city images and all that so I ended up deciding to do a, an island divided between a city side and the rural side but yeah n needless to say I'm super excited to work on this area and I really like how it turned out in this build or in this area I'm going to include the nook's cranny Dobie and Genji's houses and I mean it's their houses but they're actually going to have little businesses slash factories because Dobie makes paper like the traditional way um, I my inspiration for his house was a video that I saw I think on reddit of a guy making paper and I mean it just sounded so <laughs> relaxing for some reason maybe the way the video was filmed and edited but I really wanted to have some traditional crafts on this island represented you know so I mean I think the production of paper is like a super Japanese thing, Asian thing in general, but also Japanese, of course. And Genji will have a little umbrella factory, you know, the uh, silk umbrellas. Um, the idea for his house was actually, I'm not sure if it was a documentary or just like something I saw on the news, but I think it was a documentary um, on a uh, really old umbrella factory I believe I couldn't find the duck again like <laughs> I saw it on TV and I couldn't find it I really wanted to go back and uh, you know get some screenshots and stuff like that that could help me guide um, on this build and it was not easy finding reference pictures it actually took me a little bit of research to find some good pictures to use as references but I think they look close enough to what I saw I'm also giving some other things uh, to Genji like on his house he will have like a tea drinking space you know this small tea house if you will and he will have like some bonsai like he has some other hobbies but his craft is making umbrellas and at first i wanted to put nook's cranny on the same side of the road as the villager houses and i ended up choosing not to because there was a big space between the road and the beach and i didn't know how to fill that area uh, because again when I choose my maps they kind of fit the ideas that I have but because I don't have like a solid plan of where everything's going sometimes things end up changing a little bit and I don't plan my builds ahead this is like the f whenever you're seeing me work it's the first time that I'm working on the area I rarely plan an area in advance so you know I just adjusted to the conditions that I have left <laughs> you know I was actually kind of afraid that I was going to have a super tiny space for the rural area because I just I didn't really limit myself when I was building the city side like I didn't want it to look like I was running out of space or anything so I made it as big as I thought I, as I should and I didn't really think about the space that I was uh, using and uh, when uh, towards the end I mean not towards the end like halfway through because towards the end I figured that I would I actually have 
a lot of space for the rural area but I'll, uh, I'll play through I was kind of afraid that I was going to run out of space but I still kept on going without thinking about it too much and I ended up with a pretty big space if you see like the <laughs> microseconds that the map appears on the corner you can see that like the whole um right side towards the top part of the island it's everything's empty like there's no terraforming or anything because that area is empty and i can use it all for just two villager houses <laughs> um which is great i mean those houses will have like bigger areas uh, as I, I, that was something that i planned beforehand those will be the the houses that will have like will occupy a big big space on the island so it's great it's great that i have enough space to not feel concerned about it at, at least now you know maybe when the time comes i realize that i don't have space <laughs> i hope not um, the rural side will probably be mostly on the second level at first I thought that the rural side would be mostly on the first level but honestly I don't know if I want the island to I don't know if I want people to see the limits of the island once it's done or if I want to make it look bigger and do some kind of perspective towards the end my friend Bun B or Rachel um, she just finished an amazing winter island and what she did was she created these perspectives that make the island look endless like you can real you can see the end of the island and it looks just you know <laughs> looks like a dream it doesn't look like uh, animal crossing new horizons island so maybe i could try and do that if i feel like i don't like to see the end of the island you know but i will think about it when the time comes you know i still have the, the city side is not done as i mentioned in the last video i think it's not closed off you know it's not completely finished i just wanted to jump to the rural side to see how much space i have left as well uh because i'm not too sure by now i'm never sure of anything as you can probably tell by now but uh yeah dinook's cranny ended up being like a little shop in on the beach you know i'm not sure if they sell like fishing equipment or if it's like I don't know some sort of fishing supply or if they actually sell fish there i don't know i've never entered the nook's cranny uh <laughs> i honestly only entered the nook's cranny on this island to get the evil sisters and that's it because i'm so scared that the nook's cranny will upgrade because i don't want it to upgrade it's been stressing me out because every time i try to have the baby nooks cranny on my islands it never worked it always ended up upgrading and i'm so afraid that will happen <laughs> so i can't let it happen so i'm not entering that nooks cranny so you can't really ask me what's going on that, uh, inside because i don't know okay <laughs> i have no idea but we're finishing up the exterior and now we're moving on to the interior starting by Dobie's little paper factory um i really like how these interiors turned out i mean i don't really have the best things available to make it look like i want it as you can imagine there are no items to replicate either a paper factory or an umbrella factory so I tried my best to replicate images that I had for reference and use items that could suggest the craft that 
the villager is dedicated to inside, you know. And um, I also use the, you know, I, I, I tried my best to make it look like the actual thing. So the images that I had for traditional paper factories, they had a lot of boxes and stuff like that. Um, I decided that Adobe uh, makes paper for different um, different uh, businesses. I'm sorry, <laughs> different businesses on the island. One of them being the local newspaper. So he has some uh, newspapers on his a little cabinet thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I think it turned out really cute. You know, I really like the colors and uh, I I don't know, I feel like Dobby is just the perfect villager for this um, craftsmanship. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but I really wanted Dobby for this specific build, you know. Um, I didn't initially uh, plan on having Genji on the island. I wanted it to be, at first I wanted it to be Coco and then I thought of Billy and like Billy and uh, Dobby could be best buds, you know, but I don't know. I never had Genji and I really like him and I think something in him says to me that he makes umbrellas, <laughs> you know, I don't know why. But here's the final result for Dobby's house and now moving on to Genji's house. Um, the um, the walls to the right on both of the houses suggest that they there are more rooms to that side. On Dobby's house, it's the um, little patio that he has outside his house where he um, he has the dry bamboo, you know, for to for him to use to make the paper later. Um, and Genji has like a whole house next to his factory um, and I I don't know if that's that will be like comprehensible to people visiting but that's my that was my idea you know and I didn't want him to just do craft umbrellas so I gave him a little tea area where he drinks tea whenever someone visits maybe to buy an umbrella maybe just to see him work or just hang out you know uh, in my head Pico and him are really best buds so maybe she comes by often because Pico will have a tea farm and I'm so excited for that build um, so maybe she brings them some tea sometimes and they just drink tea together and maybe discuss some tea on the island i don't know <laughs> um but i i really wanted it uh, i really wanted oh my god i really wanted him to have more than an umbrella factory you know he has some umbrellas on display and he's currently making that umbrella on the floor is it because I couldn't really replicate the the making of an umbrella I just made it look like he's on the final process of the umbrella with the painting part of it and yeah that's the interior and this is the final result um, this is not during the sunset I actually thought from the beginning that I wanted the island to be raining when I set the DA so I'll probably save it I don't know if I want this heavy rain I wanted to find the day that it was raining just a little bit less than this you know but I honestly love how this whole area turned out I know the beach is not really that decorated but I still like it I like simple beaches you know uh, I hope you enjoyed the video as well and if you did don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already 
And if you want to further support my content, you can also become a member of the channel. There's also some perks, so check it out. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!